This is going to be a quick video about R's function summary as applied to the object returned from the function LM. So here it is. R has a function named summary that can follow the function call to LM. That is to say, if you have some stored object named fit that is returned from the function call to LM, you can call summary on fit. Now it turns out R has a function summary for a number of different objects, but I'm specifically referring to the summary method that will be called on LM returned objects, in this case, fit. Uh, before we even dive into a quick example in R, let's just admit some pros and cons of the function summary. Uh, a pro, it is simple. Look how easy those two lines of code are. And it provides some information. Uh, I happen to lean in favor of the con, which is why I haven't spent very much time on it at all, in that I feel the summary function encourages binary decision making within data analysis. That is, some people seem to come away with a conclusion that variables either yes or no matter. Either a variable matters or it doesn't, and there's nothing in between. And I don't actually think that way myself. If there's a data analysis where I'm like exploring some physical concepts and the uh, empirical data I have behind those physical concepts, then I think there's going to be a richer theory about the relationship between these variables, or often there's a richer theory about the relationship between some variables uh, than contained within the data itself. Something uh, like an idea behind the greater part of statistics is that there is variation in data. And we just kind of need to in my opinion, accept that variation to a greater degree in our data analysis. Um, and I don't think the function summary helps people do that. So I generally try to avoid it because I think the encouraging of binary decision making is thoughtless data analysis. Nonetheless, I think you should be uh, introduced to what these this function does. So let's jump into a quick example in R just so we can see it in action and talk about the component pieces. So I've already loaded the library ggplot2. I've already got some code up here to read in the data set cars from my GitHub repository. Uh, the repository is under my last name and named data. I'm going to say we are currently interested in trying to predict city miles per gallon using the weight of a car. And you could theoretically fit the model in R's function LM just like that, and then call summary on that output. You actually get quite a bit of output, so let's just make some space for it. The summary call uh, to the object fit reminds you how you called LM in the first place. It presents for you um, a reasonable, uh, quick analysis of the residuals from this fitted model. You can use these numbers to help you determine the approximate normality of the residuals. Um, and then here is the part most people focus on when they are looking at this output. Now, what we're seeing here is each term in your linear model, first the intercept and then the slope on the numerical explanatory variable weight. And then in columns is an estimate of each of those coefficients. So that would be like the same that you'd get out of this. And then standard errors, which are the estimates of the sampling distribution for uh, estimates of the standard deviation of the sampling distribution for each of the coefficients in turn. So you can see there's a lot less noise on the slope than there is on the uh, intercept. And then the next two values are where that binary decision making starts to come in. 
only aided inappropriately by these asterisks that follow. Oftentimes people will use these values here, which are called p-values, to make a decision about the importance of any particular coefficient in the model. It's not great decision making, but it is a common practice today that if a p-value is less than 0.05, people will often just say that's an important variable in this model. The world doesn't work quite as simply as that. Nonetheless, this is the output people use to try to, try to determine the importance of uh, coefficients in a linear model. I would much prefer to look at standard errors, confidence intervals, and think uh, critically about the reason there's an intercept or a uh, numerical explanatory variable weight in this model and uh, make a decision from that. Nonetheless, here's what function summary does as applied to an LM returned object.